The commentary done by Diggity. This uh, is again part of the Starcon New York City lands. Bottom left corner we have Tim starting as the red Protoss. Bottom right corner we have Raz starting as the green Protoss. This is starting off on the retro round of the lower bracket. I think I'll go over retro just because it kind of has the older map look feel of like circa 2008 approximately 2008 to 2009 wide natural expansion ramp you've got the wide exposed we can see mulus this was a really popular thing in the 2007 8 era to have kind of the flank over the although usually the minerals would be facing it so the mulusks could create some chaos right there free clock location with double ramp leading up 5,000 gas full there and then it's just you got kind of the map rotate past that where it's uh usually when they say isometric they're talking about or iso whatever it's the flip third but basically it's mirrored all the way around uh past that so basically you have additional expansions at all the cardinal directions i'm not sure how f much of a factor that'll be in pvp just note that it is a ramped map initially you do have i guess it's a somewhat nearby third and then you have the weird little mineral patches in the middle that never that only end up being mined in the manor situation raz Oftentimes we'll open up the uh, 1011 gate, sort of Bonneth, uh gateway build quite often in PvP. It looks like this time he's in fact opening up gateway assimilator. He's going to get first scout. Tim going for assimilator gateway. Unfortunately he's going to end up with last scout versus Raz, which is a dangerous proposition up against Raz in particular because Raz is capable of doing nearly everything. It's got the full build order repertoire and executes them pretty well. Sneaking in with that probe. Is going to see that that cybernetic score completed before the initial zealot. We do have an initial zealot before cybernetic score opposite side from Raz. And actually dropping a pylon as well. So if Raz doesn't get something accomplished with this initial zealot, Tim theoretically will have the initial dragoon advantage. We'll see how it goes down the line. In the meantime, Raz softening up the probes as best he can before drawing back. It looks like Tim recognizing that. I like that adjustment from Tim. He knew that it was going to be a close base and since he scout scouted top left and found nothing instead of moving bottom right, Raz getting aggressive with that zealot. The cybernetic score coming up much, much later. I think Tim going to meander in and like what he sees. First zealot out opposite side. So Raz basically needs to out micro the zealot and a little bit of timing. Tim just gonna go ahead and uh, attack that assimilator to be a little bit frustrating. In between, one zealot blockading. Let's see if Raz can also get the first hit here. Not able to get through, nor was he able to get the first hit. So not working out for Raz overall, and Tim in a pretty strong position. Range upgrading, got that first Dragoon. The probe was trying to get that free hit to make something happen in between. So Tim right now with the build order advantage if he I'm expecting him to try to turn it into a faster natural expansion. Raz also could go for a very risky follow up and just try to drop a natural on his own. He's going to drop a second gateway. Looks like we do have a second gateway. So it looks like it might just be two gate robo and to expand both ends. Raz recognizing that he's down a Dragoon potentially might play a little bit more aggressive and go for uh, two gate into expand before robotics. We'll have to see. Right now though, Raz has done a really good job with his macro cycles and despite everything is and kind of uncharacteristic for Tim, uh, down two workers. Despite not really losing, I mean he didn't lose anything as far as the forward front maybe just points of supply order but Tim playing a little bit more aggressive to the front Raz just out macroing him right now which surprises me knowing how strong Tim's macro is two gate robo from Raz two gate robo from Tim but Tim with a little bit more of it again he's got more of the options to go ahead and grab that natural expansion I'm I'm worried that Tim, well, first of all, with the two workers down and not pressing that natural expansion is giving opportunities to Raz overall. Yeah, Raz 
going to send out a scouting probe to see what's incoming. Sees the three dragoons. Doesn't have the full scope of the army, but... Raz also, wow, doing some nice positioning, pulling his army back, letting Tim sneak in so that he can go ahead and get the jump on that first Dragoon. Yeah, so before Tim's full army was there, Raz able to jump on top of it. Two Zealots able to win the day and a great exchange from Raz. Three Dragoons fleeing, one of them heavily damaged. And certainly now, Tim doing a nice job of boxing in. Oh, is Raz still gonna fight this? Yeah, going for the uphill battle because he's got some Zelts to spare, it looks like. Is, was barely, he's got a damaged Dragoon to lead. Tim again trying to press the issue. And again, yeah, because he had that superior Dragoon count earlier, at least able to get something done there, but he's got two very weak Dragoons and a closer reinforcement point. So not going to continue with the aggression. Looks like Raz actually opting to go robotics facility and get that Reaver out where we have a shuttle start and a later robotic support bay from Tim. Neither play player opting for Observer for some nice defensive Dragoon placement. Where's the probe in there? Oh, probe's down here. <coughs> Keep in mind these are fully healthy versus and if Raz can pick out those weak Dragoons to start, it looks like he is going to be able to right there. Also, we're just going to retreat with some free fire. A probe, I think that probe was wandering down to get some additional scouting. It was just misfired. But with this Reaver, Raz is going to be able to push all of this back. And Tim again has two very weak Dragoons in this piling where Raz only has one weak Dragoon. He needs to pile it to the rear of his army. Let's see if he can shuffle it though. With this Reaver out, and Tim, now his forward aggression is actually going to punish him because Raz, seeing the lack of Reaver on the front, is going to feel a lot more comfortable engaging this army and potentially... And as I say that, Tim going to use that defensive forward posture or aggressive forward posture to go ahead and drop his Nexus ahead of Raz. But here's what I'm concerned with is, yeah, these initial shots... towards these uh, Dragoons of the Natural Expansion, just going to be able to shove that back, see if Raz... So he's got the two Reavers out. He do, isn't going to have the shuttle to support. But once he wipes all this out, yeah, should feel very, very comfortable. Again, hunting it. I love Tim abusing the 6 o'clock location, though. Single Reaver making its way up. This is two Reavers versus one, but without shuttle support, those Reavers going to be much more exposed. Raz with the supply lead, but Tim is going to get that Natural Expansion up much more rapidly. Shuttle being constructed for Raz. He's not, so he wants to get aggressive to follow this up. Still hasn't moved down. Never mind. I keep miscalling stuff today. Now going to move down to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. I was expecting that somewhat earlier, moving his own probe out to try to get eyes on what's on the situation. Observatory being dropped from Tim. No third or fourth gateway as of yet. And it looks like we do have a shuttle speed upgrade from Tim as well. Probe able to wander up. I don't know if it was able to see the edge of that Nexus or not, but regardless, Raz getting aggressive, moving his army towards the front, dropping the two Reavers on the edge. And he's going to see if he can get some free pot shots. Might be able to get at least a Dragoon kill out of this. Needs to be very, very careful with this. Yeah, able to get a Dragoon, one of them pulling off as well. Eating some damage. Second Reaver joining as... Ooh, got a big shot off there. But Raz actually able to press into this. And Tim doesn't have his army in position. He's got the Dragoons, but they're not on the low ground. Loses a Reaver. I think he's lost his shuttle as well. And now Raz busting this wide open. Able to get plenty of Reaver shots on the low ground. So that Observer going to be able to walk up and see this gigantic army obliterating that natural expansion. And that Reaver should be able to scoop up. It needs to be very, very careful, but might be able to get to the high ground. And Raz able to just walk in and clear this out. GG. Great play from Raz, top to bottom. I don't want to go back and see. What? So it was just, yeah, it was just straight 
two gate. I don't think there was a third gateway out for us at any point, so it is just even production. But I want to see the engagement point because I think supplies were somewhat even. And Tim was just out of position. So yeah, here's even. Right here, a lot of these Dragoons get softened up by this Reaver and lost. Supply count still very close to even. Raz takes a little bit of a lead right here. Still on two gateways, has that natural up. Raz grabs the third, still no gateway. Flood behind this, so yeah, it's just straight up. Even supply, even supply, he's got a slight supply lead right there, but Here's what I want to see. So two damaged Dragoons. Raz actually a little bit of Dragoon favor. It's this pocket right here that's not part of the attack force and doesn't join the attack. Yeah, it comes in so late that it's a null factor. And so Raz able to just use a number advantage to press in. And these guys still having some trouble getting down. So Raz working that positional advantage. Anyway, end game analysis. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening. Raz continues in the lower bracket. Tim, unfortunately, is eliminated. Look for Raz to continue. We'll, I think I'm just going to cast the rest of the lower bracket and then move back to the upper bracket uh, when I have the opportunity. Thanks for listening.